Citizens Financial Group Chairman and CEO Bruce Fonson joins us now in a first on CNBC interview. Bruce, it's good to see you. Welcome. Um, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me. So we have a lot to talk about right now. Clearly, the market is very focused on on the results of banks like yours. For, first on deposits. What's going on there? Deposit flows and cost of deposits. Yeah, so uh, clearly there's competition for bank deposits from money market funds. And so uh, as the Fed moved aggressively to raise rates, uh, I think depositors have taken the opportunity to search around for higher yields. So we had uh, some deposits leaving the banking system. And then once the bank failures occurred in early March, uh, then that really woke the market up even further. And so I think there was a bunch of uh, velocity of twos and fro's. I think we opened a record number of accounts uh, for incomings, and we saw some of our bigger depositors uh, move uh, some of their money to diversify. So we caught roughly as much inbound as we had outbound in March, and our deposits were pretty stable. But uh, bottom line is you're going to have to pay more for deposits in this environment. Uh, and that's going to have an impact on banks' net interest margin uh, and their results for the year to some degree. So more on that, if you could, because we're trying to figure out what the what the guidance on margins look like. H how much more do you expect them to eat into the net interest income? Yeah, so, um, you know, we took our, our guide down a bit. And I think on the call, we said we ran a 330 net interest margin in the first quarter, which was stable with the fourth quarter. Uh, and then uh, by the end of the year, we could be somewhere in a 310 to 320 zone, uh, which is still a pretty good level of net interest margin and uh, will still generate healthy returns for the year in the mid-teens in terms of a return on equity. Uh, but it's just a recognition that you won't make as much spread because you're going to pay more on deposits. And then what's happening on the loan side, Bruce? Loan demand, loan growth, what does that look like right now? Yeah, I think uh, we and other banks are being more careful uh, in terms of making new loan commitments. So uh, if the economy is slowing and may hit a shallow recession, uh, you want to be very disciplined in terms of extending new credit. Uh, so I think you'll also see the, the, the guides for uh, more robust loan growth as we came into the year uh, tail off a little bit. Uh, line utilization is down uh, a little bit, uh, uh, I think, as companies are reassessing how much offense they want to play uh, during the course of the year. So nothing all that dramatic, but at the margin, I think you'll see a little less lending from uh, from the banks. So what does that translate into for economic growth? Because, Bruce, you and I have been talking for several quarters and you've been relatively optimistic and positive on the U.S. consumer and the economy. But now that you're seeing and doing tightening lending standards and some of these pressures, what does it do for your outlook? Yeah, I, I'm still uh, relatively optimistic. So, uh, you know, the consumer is still in great shape. We have a tight labor market, so a uh, chance for people to, to be employed. And uh, we still have some higher savings uh, coming from the pandemic. Most companies are still doing well. We're watching commercial real estate a little bit, but it's hard to see how we go uh, into a, a, a more significant recession. Part of this lies with the Fed. So the Fed uh, is continuing to raise rates and there's the market thinks they'll go one more hike for 25 basis points in May or June uh, and then pause. Uh, but you, they have to factor in if banks are not lending as much, that's contractionary. That may be the equivalent of one or two more hikes. Uh, so I think if the Fed uh, kind of moderates from here, uh, I think the economy can absorb that, uh, and I think we'll uh, move through the year with, uh, at, at worst, maybe a shallow recession.